you're next. Whoever you are. What's going on, Joe fans? A while ago, I made a video called Globulus Hacks, where I took a vintage Globulus figure, and I got a couple of uh, Gorgon tails from Vitruvian Hacks, and I made this hybrid figure with some tail articulation and it's pretty cool so you could actually have Golobulus B a real figure instead of just pogoing around with the original Gumby like tail that it had I saw this these tails on uh, on eBay for some figures and I wanted to try to just uh, come up with a hack so I called the video Golobulus hacks and I was able to put this figure together well, I got a little bit bored. I picked up some more Golobuluses. Golobuli? Golobuli? Okay, whatever. Some Golobuli. And I also went and got some more tails. These ones are different colors, but they're still fully articulate, articulated like the Gorgon one I had got in the first place. This one's pretty cool. It's got like a rattle on it. They're all a little bit different. So I was going to put together some more Golobulus hacks. And on the previous video, people had asked me how I was able to attach the tail to Golobulus. So... And, and to be frank, I forgot how I had done it. So we're going to work on that a little bit today. And maybe you guys can see. So, like any G.I. Joe O-ring style, he's held together with a screw in the back. Take out the screw. Put it over there for good measure. Put one of these aside. We'll split this guy carefully because it's old plastic then as you can see this one it doesn't hook through here with an o-ring this just sits kind of inside of the body here so it's just the enclosure of the torso keeps this from being removed so that's pretty cool the original one so now, I'm going to have to be clever and try to figure out how to hook this to this body here. Now, the, the interesting thing that I found with this one is that the his torso fits almost, I mean, I don't want to say almost, it fits perfectly into the snake bottom. And uh, this is the same deal, only a different color. And it's got a piece of the abdomen attached to it. So the problem is when I remove the abdomen, it's got this attached to it, which you remove and there's a ball on one side. And then there's this piece and then there's another ball inside of this tail so this hooks to it and then the ball goes through the base and then that would attach to the torso and that's what would hold it together well there isn't anything for this to attach to so I've got to figure out how to rig up something to attach this ball to the inside here so that's going to be my quest for the day. 
the good news is that once I do figure that out, the torso sits perfectly so you've got your half snake half globulus so I'm going to ponder this for a minute and go into my bag of GI Joe tricks all right instead of inventing reinventing the wheel I went back to the one I had made before and I just kind of looked at it it's got a hair tie going from inside of here up into where the o-ring fastens or where the o-ring would fasten tied to the torso so but there's a lot of room for improvement because the hair tie can slide up and down the post that's inside the way it works is we've got the tail the tail has got these it's got it's rubber on the outside and it's almost got like bones on the inside so these bones if you will run through here and then this piece itself through here you see the little ball ding, dingling around there it would snap into the bottom of a torso of the Vitru Vitruvian hack figure that's upside down so it would, it would plug in here and then you would have the figure build up from there attaching to the little balls on the inside of it so we're going to remove this stick and then the little ball that's on the inside I've got a hair tie with a really small knot tied into it I'm going to run that knot over the little peg on the inside there and then this hair tie will travel through the length of the tail and then into the torso of the figure and it should hold pretty tight with integrity now I've just got to get this to wrap around this little ball here and we'll be in business all right we've got this piece with this with the hair tie tied on top you got to get this piece through here through here and onto the figure we're going to do this all right now and make it happen all right we got that through Not made it through. Top made it through. Okay. There we go. We are in business. It's got a good tie. Second thing's done. Plug, pull this through. Perfect. Now, I do have a bit of a concern about the skeletal strength inside of here that I didn't that I didn't think about because it's just the rubber band going through here, so it's still kind of loose. I'm gonna go ahead and put the pole back into here. I'm gonna hook this back into there. So that way, it's still got some structure to it. There we go. Cool. There we go. So he's still, he's still got a little bit of tail spine going on. Nice. I'm gonna make it. There we go. All right. He's still got some tail spine going on now. Some strength in there. Now the fun part. We've got a good loop here. And it's just like any other G.I. Joe. Run the loop through the back.
balance the parts on here. Head. Arms. Really? Always got to be something. All right, let's get his head. Easy peasy. Okay. He's together. Let's get his screw in. All right. Now the, the rubber band itself Gotta pull it quite a bit to have it come off. But the torso does like to chuck down in here a little bit and it kind of grabs on it. So it makes it a good fit and it's a lot, a lot better than the green tailed one that I had set up. So let's see how it works. Alright, there he is. I'm going to have to fix this other one now. And I've got a third one to work on. So, if you didn't know, now you know how to turn Vitruvian hacks into Globulus. Thanks for watching. Hopefully that made sense. It was kind of hard to do. And I was doing it on the fly, so. And hey, if you got a better idea on how to do that, or if the people from Vitruvia have some kind of a better method for doing that, feel free to comment below or DM me because I'm going to be trying to liberate a bunch of these Globuluses from their Gumby Globuli from their Gumby Pogos. Let me know below. Thanks for watching. Joe is there.